Okay, I'm just going to show you this time lapse engine, which is based on the Arduino board with a Mini E environment program to the board. I'll show you a quick demonstration of it all working, and then I'll strip it apart and just go through quickly as I can. I'll do an, another video, a bit more detailed one. So to encourage me to do it quickly, please, please, please pop a comment below. We've took the time to do this video for you, so please take the time, pop us a comment below. So I'll just power up the board, power up the easy driver, and let's see the motor working. So what I'll do, I'll just pop it into the motor, uh, motor steps. I'll zoom up, I'm not sure whether you can see. There we go, motor steps. And the direction is clockwise. And there we go, the motor's turning. Stop, back into the motor. Steps, we'll go higher to speed it up to four, six, eight steps. Direction, anti clockwise. And there we go, anti clockwise. And stop. So, basically, we've got a stepper motor, easy driver board, power supply, 12 volt USB one for the easy driver board, 9 volt battery, the program, the Arduino. So, what we've got is an LCD shield, a a normal like breakout shield which you have to solder them components on yourself which is not too bad to do in the Arduino and the easy driver so the breakout board pops onto the Arduino the shield LCD shield onto the breakout screw shield, it's called a screw shield. And from the screw shield, we've got pin 12 and pin 13 going to the easy driver board, which is going to the step and direction. Number tw I can't read them, but number 12 going to the outside one, number 13 the inside. Power plus and minus. Labelled motor, four wires going to the motor. Very, very simple. And we played around with these because we are developing a time lapse dolly system, which will be very, very, very affordable because literally the ones out there are just ridiculous money, and I've got no idea why they charge so much for them so pop a comment on come back to our site and we'll give you an update when we've got our dolly system developed which will have options to mount a motor and control it with this so there we go thank you please put a comment